Welcome back YouTube. This is episode 8. Uh, we left off exploring these little ruins up here. Didn't find too much. So now we are going to go back to the storm hill shack and we are going to make our way up this road here and see if we can get into the castle. War Wild Strikes. Um, I'm probably just gonna run past all this stuff. For that reason right there. Oh! And... Up. The list is no joke. this weapon. Smithing stones. All right. Torch. Uncharted territories. This looks like it's going to be a boss fight. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. on that stack. Oh. 
Ugh. Foolish ambitions to rest. Destroyed. Almost got him though. That uh that staff. Whew, the reach on it. And that hammer he pulled out in his second phase, that's wasn't really expecting that. Try this again. Bring out my little imps again. Strength at 18, Dex at 17. Let's get Dex to 18 and let's try to get our vigor up a little bit so we have more health. And let's see what that item was we just got. Talisman pouch increases talisman equip slots. Okay, so now we can. I guess these are essentially like rings from the Dark Souls games. Let's see, what do we got? Critical hits, restore HP, holy attack, roars and breath attacks, charge, stamina reducing attack, fire damage negation. I guess we'll just do fire damage negation for now. Vale Castle. <clears throat> and Fat Rollin'. Why? Guess I'll just take the shield off. Oh, the frames. So with doing this quality build on this character, I'm, I'm half tempted to push towards uh, bleed weapons. Not sure how good they're going to be in this game, but kind of think that that's the route we're going to go at the moment is quality weapons that, that have some bleed scaling. Out 
here. Detour to get us an item. That doesn't look like a fun way to go. You there? C come over here, would you? you? You're you're tarnished, aren't you? I would advise against taking. The main gate into the castle. I was thinking the same thing. It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Oh, tr tr try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You breach the castle undetected. Very well. Yes, that's the spirit. You're just the kind of tarnish that I like. I pray for your success. Use the guards, haven't you? Slip right inside. Yeah, okay. your I pray. He pretty much just tells you to. Guess you have the option to use the main gate, but I think we're gonna we're gonna go this way. I have a feeling the the main gate probably has a bunch of enemies and ballistas. place is beautiful. Smithing stone too. It's an awfully big bird. There's a grace. So let's, uh, let's go back this way. Let's see. Down here we can. God, is that a hawk with razor blades on its feet? <sighs> of course it is. Why would it not have razor blades on its feet? Damn FromSoft. Look at that shit. Giant ass birds. With blades on their feet. Who comes up with these enemies? Oh, missed that. Go Heal up all the way. I have a feeling we'll be encountering more of those death birds. Material. Yeah. No. 
stop it. One down. Warhawk's Talon. Scaling and strength, seasons, decks. Yeah, it's basically the sword off the bird's feet. Smithing stone three. Before we push farther into Stormvale Castle, I do kind of want to explore this southern region. And the reason being is I feel like Stormvale Castle is going to push us more further into the, the story progression. And I want to do a little bit more exploration before we, we push that further. So I kind of want to go down and see what's down here. Um, I mean, we, we may not be high enough level for it. We may get destroyed. And if that's the case, then we will jump back into Stormvale. Um, we also have this region over here, but this... It looks... Just from the map, it looks pretty mean. Um, so, we will eventually get here, but that will be probably quite a few episodes from now. But, real quick, for anybody... Who doesn't know how to level up your weapons <clears throat> so you need to go to roundtable hold and you're gonna find the blacksmith he is not that he is in the other section you want to find this dude here well, talk to him. I took you, my I had your arms then. And then you want to go to strength and armament. Um, and you can look at the ones you have equipped or all of your weapons in general. It will tell you right above the weapon what material it requires and how many to go to the next level. So for me to upgrade the Bloodhound's Fang to plus one, I need a somber smithing stone plus one. For my Ucha Katana. For me to go to plus four, I need two smithing stone twos. Um, and then these these go and go and go. And I believe regular weapons can go up to plus 25. And I think boss type weapons can go to plus 10. Um, from my understanding. Um, and then you have ashes of war. You can change the ashes of war that you have on certain weapons. And in doing so, you can also change the... The, uh, the scaling factor so like I could take the Ucha Katana and I could change it from a dex weapon to a strength weapon I wouldn't suggest that um, but that's just something you can do you can mess around with all sorts of weapons um, there's no shortage of weapons or stones in this game there are plenty to be found at least in most Souls games there are and with that being said Hopefully that helps you guys a little bit. For any of you newer players who don't know how to level up weapons, hopefully that will help. And with that being said, we are going to go down here to the Bridge of Sacrifice Waypoint. Grace, whatever you want to call it. Bonfire.
sweeping peninsula. Alright, so when we come back, we are going to start exploring this area down here. Hopefully we can find some pretty cool locations, maybe some, uh, some armor or weapons. Um, and just have a good time exploring it. Um, anyways, catch you guys in the next one.